the festive season is officially in the air in GTA Online. Yeah, I know I said season wrong. Anyways, I changed the form around for these types of videos. Now I'm putting the weekly update content at the beginning of the video and towards the end you will have all the news revealed information that you may need or want to know, which is everything you may need or want to know entirely in this video so if you guys do find this new format enjoyable and highly informative especially if you find it highly informative do leave a like subscribe stay tuned for content like this every thursday evening now without further ado let's get into the information that i have for you guys in this video because there is a lot to go through especially that it mostly revolves around the festive content of gta online so now, without further ado, let's get through the information content, everything in a brief summary of what's new in GTA Online, starting off with a load of new bonuses, including the fact that we have two new vehicles. One of them is not mentioned, but I will mention it very soon. Anyways, we also have new rewards, triple rewards and holiday themed community series jobs, which was not mentioned by Rockstar Games on their newswire, but don't worry, I will get into all of those missions or jobs that are triple rewarded for the next month, possibly potentially because rockstar forgets about it for a month we also have double rewards on snowball fights death matches entourage and drift races which the drift races were just new last week and entourage and snowball fights were just brought in for this week for double rewards because of festive content we also have double los santos car meet reputation points on all relevant activities when you go and underground there's also lots of holiday rewards and gifts such as you have to defeat the yeti to unlock the yeti outfit there are happy holidays hauler that goes around town every once in a while they'll be dropping presents that includes festive sweaters which is only two of them you can also get money rp ammo and snacks etc from these presents you have to destroy all 25 snowmen to unlock the snowman outfit in case you haven't done it last year this year you can do it again now it's your second chance you have to fight off the gucci gucci gu oh my god i feel so cringe saying that how to appeal to the children in gta online during christmas to get the gucci gucci gu outfit anyways defeat the criminals in the weasel plaza shootout to get the wm29 pistol which is a new event that has been released as part of a die hard reference movie rather anyways you also can complete entourage for the first time to get a skin for the combat pistol you can survive five matches of the entourage festive remix to get a skin for the special carbine and you could win a match of entourage while playing as Santa Claus to get a skin for the Heavy Sniper. <clears throat> On top of that, login unlocks this week is, well, for the next, I guess, week or two weeks, potentially. Don't remember, but it's best to be safe than sorry. Try to join as soon as you can this week. You can get a free snowball launcher, green Christmas tree hat, white Christmas ranger hat, candy cane weapon, and a green ranger beer hat. Discounts for this week, not that many discounts, all of them are vehicles, one of them is hidden, however, because it is specially discounted for only GTA Plus members, which is the new vehicle I will get into in just a moment, so that's 20% off. Regardless though, here are the new vehicle discounts, most of these prices are not accurate, so don't look at the price tag for these vehicles, I will show you the exact price tag very soon in this segment of the video. Moving on, we have new vehicle showcases, such as a new podium vehicle for the Diamond Casino, the new prize ride when you go underground, new test rides, a new house special works test ride, which is not mentioned by Rockstar Newswire, unfortunately. So I will tell you right now that I have the chance. It is the Viva Knight. Luxury Autos includes the VSTR on Baller Street, and there are five vehicles that are new in Simeon Showroom, three of them which are not available from in-game websites, which I'll get into detail in just a moment, so stay tuned for that. Before though, I'll explain to you the new premium race and time trials for this week, which this week's premium race is Congestion Charge. This week's time trial is at Lakewood Vinewood. Isn't it Lake Vinewood Estate? Estates? Estates? Whoever did this, I don't know, they were, they're under the influence, man. They're already drinking too much eggnog. Anyways, and the House Special Works time trial for new gen players is in North Chumash. And that is generally all that I have from Discord, just to summarize what is new for the new weekly update in GTA Online. Let's get to the actual new weekly update featuring the new Bravado El Dorado. I have to call it El Dorado just because it just sounds great like that it should be el rubio's car 
Anyways, the Bravado Dorado is a new vehicle in GTLN, in which here is a brief description from Rockstar's Newswire behind this vehicle. As well as that, the Boxville LSDS is another vehicle that is new, released in GTLN officially as of this week, which can be found in the Warstock website, in which the trade price is... I'm going to mention in just a moment, but I believe you have to complete a heist or robbery setup with the LSDS uniform for the Dami Casino robbery, I believe. Anyways, we'll find out later in just a moment, so stay tuned for that. And here is where you can find the Bravado Dorado, which is in SSASA website. Now, the podium vehicle for this week is the Vapid Click, which costs $909,000 or was free for players who logged in on December 25th, 2018. Which is quite coincidental that Rockstar is using this same vehicle again for a podium vehicle. It's just so, it's just so boring. Now, Rockstar really is. Um, this week's uh, prize ride is the Declass Tahoma Coupe, which for some reason, if you have not gotten this vehicle for free back when it first released, when we completed a certain community challenge, I believe it was a community challenge, I don't remember. Still, you could have gotten this vehicle for free, and if you in case didn't get it, well, you have to place top one for three days in a row in the LS Car Meet series this week. The weekly challenge, I'm not sure if these are accurate, if they're the same for everyone, but I'll still go through it anyways. Though, if it is different, please do let me know in the comments ASAP, because I don't want to give off the wrong information. <clears throat> Regardless, for me, maybe for everyone, you have to complete three salvage yard robberies this week in GTA Online. Simeon Vehicles includes the new Bravado Dorado, which looks quite badass, honestly. Not gonna lie. The new, not really new, um, why am I saying new in these vehicles? The Ocelot Ardon, the Benefactor Strider, which is not available from in game websites, the Vapid Riata, which is also not available from in game websites, and the Lampadati Pigali, which is also not available from in game websites. Luxury Autos this week includes the Galavanter Baller Street, which features a unique livery. In here which and there's also the Albani V STR that features well itself anyways test track vehicles includes the Karen Coleco GTF a pretty fast car do recommend picking it up though it is still available from in-game website so whatever uh, the Pfister Comet Safari is also available this week as well as the Pfister Comet S2 Cabrio those are the vehicles featured when you go underground. Vehicle robberies this week. Apparently these things are weekly, so I'll go through them as well through these videos now. But they have new robbery vehicles, including the Thrax, Comet Safari, and Click, in which the Thrax as the podium robbery, the Comet Safari is the cargo ship robbery, and the Click is the gangbanger robbery. Rewards for this week. You can get the new Snowball Launcher logging in just this week. You can get the Snowball Launcher for free. I tried it out. It's kind of like an up anatomizer, unlimited ammo, but it has a charge to it that shoots every few seconds. Similar to the, you know, mechanics of the up anatomizer, I guess, or a stun gun. Anyways, this week you can also get double rewards on Snowball Fights, which is a new deathmatch series that's been released. I will show you where you can find that in just a moment. We also have double rewards on Entourage Festive Remix, which you either fight as a group of elves, or you get sent to the safe zone, or you just become a bunch of Krampuses and just fight them off. Regardless though, that's on double rewards this week. The... Um, Yeti. If you defeat the Yeti this week, or possibly this week and next week, you can get the new Yeti outfit, which is available, well, this week and next week, possibly. The holiday gifts that Rockstar is giving away. Long story short from all this entire thing, they say log in this week to receive a snowball launcher, green Christmas tree hat, white Christmas reindeer hat, the candy cane weapon, and green reindeer beer hat. 
And you can also start off the New Year on the right foot by getting a New Year hat available in silver, gold, and bronze, New Year's glasses available in silver, gold, and bronze, and more by logging in to play at any point between December 28th and January 3rd. That stuff is coming out next week, interestingly enough. Drift Races features double rewards or quadruple rewards for GTA Plus members. Boring. Anyways, <clears throat> while at the LS Carmades, you can also get double LS Carmade reputation points by completing certain activities such as sprints, test rides, and street race series, and more. And this is the continuing GTA Plus subscription rewards for whoever decides to waste literally $6 to pointless garbage without even dedicating a charity, which just tells me you are not a decent human being. Regardless though, here's the new community series jobs that are on triple rewards. You can find these three stunt races, Best in Snow, Christmas Crisscross, and Christmas Carts, all on triple rewards. As well as if you go to the bottom of the list, you can find a WEC Winter Sports that's also on triple rewards in stunt races. Moving on into death matches, this is the one and only Christmas death match that's on triple rewards for the next month. Last team standing, this is the one and only Rockets vs. Car Christmas festive community series job that's on triple rewards for last team standing. And for survivals, you have Blackheart's Fortress, that's triple rewards for the next month. Anyways, continuing into Rockstar's official jobs, Drift Races are finally double rewards. Rockstar finally listened to me. They put this stuff on double rewards finally. Anyways, um, snowball fights in death matches. You can get double rewards off these death match snowball fight jobs, I guess. And you can also go into adversary mode and find Entourage Festive Remix 1 through 3. That's on double rewards for this week. Discounts this week features only 8 vehicles, one of them only being discounted for GTA Plus members for in case you decide to be a not so human dis not so decent human being. Yeah, I screwed up my words. I'm tired. I'm sorry. Regardless, most of these discounts are vehicles. But before I get into that, gun van discounts includes 50% off the heavy sniper. The gun van also features a knife, battle rifle, up and atomizer, widowmaker, unholy hellbringer, the compact EMP launcher, the flare gun, the grenade, pipe bomb, tear gas, and finally the most useless purges of all of GTA's history, body armor. Or if you're a new gen player and you decide not to be a decent human being and just dedicate money to your, I don't know, waste. You can get 35% off for GTA Plus members on the Tactical SMG. Now, vehicle discounts. Vehicles that are not available from in-game websites features the Benefactor Strider, which is 40% off for $300,000. The Vapid Riata is 40% off for $251,370. The Lampadati Pigali is also 40% off for $240,000. Now, vehicles that are available on websites that's available as discounted prices, the Alpha Z1 is $1.1 million in the airplane website, whatever you call it, Elitas, I guess. Anyways, um, the Galavanter Baller Street is part of the contract, which is also discounted for this week. The Albani VSTR is discounted just under $900,000 for this week. The Ardon in the Warstock website is available at $690,000. And finally, for new gen players who decided to be a not really decent human being, GTA Plus members have 20% off the new Bravado Dorado that's available this week. Now, time trials, finally, last but not least, the time trial for this week is Lake Vanwood Estates. For whoever wants to do it, have fun. It is a minute and 26 to get from here all the way up until Fort Zancudo, I guess. And for new gen players, you guys have North Chumash as your house brushworks time trial. And that is all the weekly update stuff that I have in this video. I hope to get through this as quickly as I could for the next video, but I'm getting used to the format, so bear with me. Regardless though, that's all I have for the new weekly update content. Now let's quickly as possibly go through the new news of GTA stuff. So if you wanna stay tuned for that, go right ahead. But without further ado, 
we're going to go into it. And if you have found this video informative and highly, especially highly informative and useful to watch every Thursday evening, you can stay tuned by just liking and subscribing. And it would definitely make me happy. And it would also mean that you are very much a decent human being that really just doesn't care about GTA Plus because you know it's a waste of time. Anyways, let's go into the news. Wow, the festive event is on. And the Diamond Casino is not only surrounded by diamonds on these LED walls, but also snowflakes. Anyways, let's get into the Twitter news that I have taken to show you guys what's new. Let's start off with the biggest news that I have found out about just recently on December 21st, which was just well, today rather, early at noon, where the GTA 6 hacker was sentenced to life in a hospital prison for cyber crimes, where some have found it misinform like misinforming, misinformative, I guess. But generally what they mean is this hacker has been sentenced to life for a consecutive six month trial without pleading guilty or not guilty, the judge just sent him there and said, you know, because we know you're going to continue hacking Rockstar with the intent that you want to continue hacking Rockstar, we're going to keep you in a mental place in prison for every six months until you, we finally know that he's finally deemed safe to be released. And that depends how long that's going to take, so we do not know when he's going to be released, but I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. And Rockstar is clapping their little butts off as they go back to sleep behind the wheel next to their candle scents and whatnot while still not being aware to this day that there are still hackers on GTA Online stealing each other's personal information, data, where they live, their phone numbers, their home addresses, their IP address, etc, etc, that Rockstar just keeps turning a blind eye to because of all of the microtransactions they are making specifically from Shark Cars and GTA Plus microtransactions. Yeah, Rockstar doesn't care about you. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, yeah, the 18-year-old hacker who was reportedly violent in custody, that's not true. It wasn't the fact that he was violent in custody, it's the fact that he kept expressing how he would wish to continue hacking Rockstar and breach their databases to steal information, to leak it all over the web out of his own enjoyable entertainment, which is kind of sad that he ruins all the fun for everyone, but hey, at least he got arrested and now he's sentenced to life until deemed safe to be released. Moving on though into other news, this has lasted last week from December 15th to December 21st, which ends today, where Twitch and Rockstar made a collab, fun fact, where they basically said, long story short, Rockstar is giving away sub tokens that can be redeemed for a one month tier one sub or a gift sub on any channel that especially features RP or GTA 5 content in general, I would suppose to say. And chosen recipients will be notified via email and on-site notifications from Twitch. It was only a select 600,000 members who are chosen. So if you are not one of them, I'm sorry, but... Oh well. It's fine. It's just Rockstar's money that they're giving out anyways. Background update on December 15th. Now we're going back in time earlier on in the earliest times of last week where they have limited the custom license plate shown in-game to 15 plates to address the license plate bug. Here is all the fixes that they have done, including measures against custom drift and drag races. They fixed an issue with ULP intelligence where the other player stuck inside the IA building after the cutscene and many other patches, including the fact that they brought back Freak Shop and Asset Lab dupe glitch patches. Moving on, salvage time. For those who wants to be interested in what times will be going on for certain things, the salvage time through a tow truck with staff will be up to 48 minutes, but without staff makes it last up to 96 minutes, meaning every so on time that you choose, you can only do it every so on time. Stolen via vehicle robberies with staff can take you 144 minutes to do so before you can do the next one, or without staff will take another couple of minutes up to 192 minutes before you can do it again the timer resumes even offline you can log back in after an hour with staff to find your car salvaged basically all right now the new event the happy holidays hauler part of the chop shop update drip feed where it circles around the map dropping presents which includes two exclusive festive sweaters or snacks ammo cash etc which requires at least two players in the session to spawn 
Nice. Tunable update. WCC exclusive mixtape of the album Damn Funk Even the Score is now available on December 18th. Oh, we've got a lot more information, so stay tuned. To commemorate decorative hosting West Coast Classics, DJ Pooh has seen a special mix somewhere in town, and you have to call into West Coast Classics for clues and listen for some shoutouts from friends of WCC's iconic DJ to celebrate his legendary run. Nice. The PS4 and Xbox One tunable update. The save migration is back after being quote unquote heavily quote unquote accidentally disabled after the Chop Shop update launch. Support for the latest title update, GTL and the Chop Shop, is now available for testing on our Canary branch for 5M developers. Update your CFX and RA platform server to version 7255 or higher to test it on your 5M server. Nice. The team over at Natural Vision Evolved, a GTA 5 graphics mod, have managed to add DLSS to the PC version of the game. Epic. Background update on December 20th, 2023 features a fix for a bug with South Central leak, fix for the snowball deathmatches and entourage mode, a fix to ensure you don't get kicked from the salvage yard upon delivering the target vehicle as the last step for each vehicle robbery. That was done just recently. Now here are some random events that are going on and here's the chance where it could possibly happen. The random event for Happy Holidays Holler has a cooldown every 60 minutes and its availability is every 30 minutes. Okay, after three minutes, maybe, who knows. The Gucci Goo for children, whoever wants to play with her Gucci. God damn fucking a lot, that cringes me so hard. The cooldown is 48 minutes and availability is every 20 minutes. The Weasel Plaza Shootout with a cooldown of 20 minutes and has availability of 10 minutes and that goes between 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. chances are, and you must be within 400 meters from Weasel Plaza. Nice. Entourage Festive Remix Weapon Finishes. We have. The snowman finish for the combat pistol. We have the Santa's helper finish for the heavy sniper. And finally, the skull Santa finish for the special carbine. Are these available for Mark II weapons? I hope so. Anyways, um, moving on. What to expect? There is new festive surprise events that are going on. I want to show you this because they are giving new weapons, new events, and random events. The Happy Holidays Holler Gooch and Weasel Plaza Shootout. Which was pretty epic. I just want to show you that here's the new snowball cannon thing. Here is the Gucci Gucci. Oh my god, I cringe so hard. And the new hauler. Anyways, um, per official comms from Rockstar, new festive content arriving to GTA Online. Well, today rather. With these new free unlockable stuff for those who want to make sure what's going on. And now we have a. I just want to take a snip of this to explain to you, long story short, the new GTL event that starts on December 21st, which is today. It's available through January 3rd, in which most things last this week and most things last for two weeks. With holiday rewards and gifts, you can get these stuff continuing for the entirety of. The duration of the event for this week only you can log in to receive these items only this week joining next week you can log in to receive new year hats and new year glasses and that's generally it moving on to daily vehicle sale price adjustments which is not active yet but basically they have made an adjustment to basically limit how much money you can make when you sell personal vehicles. So you can only sell one every potentially half an hour. Though if you want to do it any sooner, the vehicle sell prices will lower gradually until the fourth vehicle and beyond, which you can only sell 5% of the total sell price of whatever the sell price could be of whatever vehicle you have. Yeah, that's going to be very little, so um, be careful how fast you sell. Now, new vehicles. We have the new Dorado and the new Boxville LSDS, which here it is that I was in question. The trade price for the LSDS, you have to complete the LSDS disguises during the podium robbery to get the trade price of $356,250. Okay, anyways, new robbery vehicles. Like I've said earlier, I will potentially keep this information as its separate tab as part of the weekly update for when I do videos like these, showing you the weekly update at the beginning of the video now rather than towards the end. So I hope you guys do find that helpful for those who want to watch. Anyways, and besides that, there was an interesting find in the new podium robbery where it seems the Damicus in Valle Felipe has had to invest in a large stock of medical supplies in his home, which is a very interesting find, I guess. 
Anyways, that's all the news that I'm taking from Twitter. Now let's go straight into the Rockstar Newswire without wasting any time. Now, holiday celebrations commence across GTLI with gifts from the Happy Holidays hauler, a free snowball launcher, and a lot more. Include a new vehicle, double rewards, and entourage, and enjoy a stocking full of festive items. Where Rockstar has said in an extremely long story short, you can enjoy new snowball fights, deathmatch, I guess. There's a holiday spin on Entourage for, I guess, deathmatches as well, maybe, I think. I forgot what they were. I'm sorry. But whatever exists, they exist. I already told you where you can find them earlier, so have fun. And a stay white hunt for the mysterious Yeti. You can also wait around to stay with the happy holidays holler truck from Plumes of Red and Green Smoke that appears, and it starts dropping... It's, it makes its rounds to and from Legion Square around the map, dropping presents that can give you festive sweaters, money, RP, ammo, snacks, and etc. <clears throat> and they've also said that there's a sleigh's worth of holiday-themed gifts available this week, including the tree hat, Xmas reindeer hat, and much more. And for those who didn't get the snowman outfit or the Gooch outfit last year, will have a second chance at these eccentric accessories. Thanks to the fact that it's returning this year. Again. And they also released a new Bravado Dorado. And their double rewards and new drift races. Triple rewards and RP for taking part in a new batch of holiday themed community series jobs. And gives the plans to the up points as we begin of the new year. Nice. Anyways, snowball fights are new. They have given tips on how you can participate in these snowball fights to make it easier. Or to just generally help you out how you want to participate in those. Entourage Festive Remix. They've also given a tip for how you can generally ease your way through these missions. The Yeti Hunt, they've basically said where if you find some clues and you travel around and so on and so forth, if you find a Yeti, you kill it, you get the new outfit. Anyways, Snowman Collectibles, the Gooch. And the Weasel Plaza shootout. All these events are as part of new, let's say, Christmas related events in which if you collect or destroy all 25 snowmen, you get the snowman outfit. If you fight off the Gucci Goo little child, oh freaking cringe, you get the Gucci outfit. And if you compete and win the Weasel Plaza shootout, it'll give you the WN29 pistol. Anyways, uh, Salvage Yard Robberies, they have mentioned yet again that, hey, guess what, we got Salvage Yard Robberies. And this week they have stated that you can execute robberies at the Diamond Casino, the Cargo Ship, and Mission Row. And from December 28th through January 3rd, the Cargo Ship will be replaced by the Submarine. And yeah, this stuff rotates on a weekly basis. Anyways, and Premium Deluxe Motorsport Showroom, I'm showing you this snip to tell you that the Ocelot Ardent, which was earlier on, if I can find it again very quickly, I believe it was this image right here. Oops, that's covering up, I guess. There you go. The Ardent features a unique livery. Okay, so that is a unique, it's a wrap livery for those who wish to purchase it this week. It's 40% off. And finally, the Galavanter Baller Street is available this week with a limited time festive stripes livery. For those who want to see what that is, I believe it is right over here. Yes, right over here. There it is, the Galavanter Baller Street. I call it street just because it's faster that way for me. Anyways, and that is generally all the news and information that I have for you guys in this video, let me just take this image off right here. There we go. Hallelujah, this is actually a pretty long video, whatever. There was a lot of information that I had to go through, but I hope you guys did find it informative regardless. Wow, that was a lot of information I had to go through. And I like explaining detail. So if you want to stay tuned to see like whatever stuff was, you know, on special rewards or whatever, there you go. There was the first part of the video, which is the weekly update content. I hope you guys do enjoy the new format for these videos. And I hope you guys did find this highly informative. And I hope that you're a decent human being. And if you want to prove so, just leave a like and subscribe. And we'll definitely make you happy. It will keep you informed or we'll keep you enjoying other content that I have coming up in the coming days weeks or months thank you for watching and i'll see you all on the next one have a good christmas by the way this week is a uh, christmas 
you know, special Christmas stuff. So, um, Merry Christmas, everyone. And, uh, yeah. Have fun, good luck. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish